Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. This one is the third video related to the sixth chapter of geography from Integrated Social Science Ratna Sagar, Class 6, Major Landforms of the Earth. In this module, we'll be discussing on plateaus, types of plateaus, basically, intermontane, continental, and lava, as well as we'll also be discussing how plateaus are uh, useful and uh, what are the limitations when it comes to plateaus? Turning on to the video, let's start the video. Plateaus are basically the plateaus are basically highlands with steep slopes. As you can see here, the the slopes are quite steep. Okay, with steep slopes and a large submit area which rises abruptly from the surrounding region as you can see the surrounding region is quite flat and uh, the this landform has uh, risen abruptly from the surrounding region and that is why it is also known as table land most plateaus are located in semi-arid and arid regions of the world some of them are found near the tropics as well Plateaus are classified into three categories on the basis of their origin and their location. The first one is intermountain plateaus, continental plateaus and the last one is the lava plateaus. Moving on to intermountain plateaus, as you can see here, the images uh, here in the slide is showing us intermountain plateau. So, intermountain plateau are the highest, largest, and the most complex in the world. They are partly or completely enclosed by mountains. You can see that there are mountain ranges next to it. Okay. So, intermountain plateaus are ba uh, basically enclosed by mountains. The very uh, famous example of intermountain plateau is the plateau of Tibet in Asia. Okay. This is the highest intermountain plateau in the world. Other include the plateau of uh, Bolivia in the Andes, the Mexican plateau in North America, the Tarim Basin in Asia, and the Columbia plateau in USA. Turning on to the next plateau, this is continental plateau. As you can see, these are extensive tablelands which rise abruptly from the bordering lowlands or from sea. As you can see uh, in this image, sea is there. Okay, so these uh, continental plateaus rise abruptly from the bordering lowlands or from the sea. And the plateau regions of South Africa, West Australia, Peninsular India, Greenland and Antarctica are some of the examples. The plateau of Rachi in India and the Potwar plateau in Pakistan, as you can see here the location, the Potwar plateau in Pakistan belong to this type. Turning on to the next slide, lava plateau and the last uh, plateau. Lava plateau, basically volcanoes also form several types of plateaus as well along with mountains. The lava plateaus are formed by fissure flows as you can see here, fissure flows. Now the question must be rising, what are fissure flows? So fissure flows are basically, uh, uh, they occur when magma flows up through cracks in the grounds and leaks out onto the surface. Okay, these often occur uh, where plates movements has caused large fractures in the earth's crust. As you can see here in this image that the magma is flowing through the cracks in the ground and is leaking out onto the surface. Okay, so the, the lava plateaus are formed by fissure flows the total thickness of uh, and the area covered by the lava plateau is very extensive okay the main examples are the deccan and the malwa plateau of india as you can see here the deccan plateau and the malwa plateau okay they are the result of the fissure flows uh, they are basically lava plateaus in india and the columbia plateau in northwestern usa uh, is also a lava plateau now let us move on and see uh, the that how plateaus are useful to us okay the plateaus so the plateaus are useful to us in uh, following ways let us see how plateaus are useful the grasslands are extensively the grasslands that are uh, grown uh, on 
the plateaus are extensively used for livestock rearing the plateaus are rich in mineral resources as well farming is carried out on a limited scale okay and the growing season is uh, very short due to higher elevation and low temperature the plateaus are as you have seen that plateaus are rich in mineral resources so mining is the chief occupation in many areas as well when it comes to plateaus so this was all about plateaus and uh, uh, that's all uh, when it comes to plateaus let's sum up and then uh, we'll end up the video today so uh, here are the key points and uh, here are the types of uh, plateaus over here intermountain continental and lava as shown in the table so what are the features the features of the intermountain plateau they are the highest largest and the most complex in the world when it comes to uh, continental these are extensive table lands which rise abruptly from the bordering lowlands or from sea when it comes to lava they are formed by fissure flows we have already discussed what are fissure flows so the eruptions basically uh, occur when magma flows up through cracks in the ground and leaks out onto the surface that is fissure flows these are extensive table lands and the examples are here as follows the plateau of tibet the this is one is the highest intermountain plateau in the world the mexican plateau and the tarim basin in asia uh, the example of continental plateau is uh, are the plateau of Rachi, India, the Potwar plateau of Pakistan and there are other examples as well we have already discussed. When it comes to lava uh, uh, plateaus, so the Deccan and the Malwa plateau of India are very famous as well as the Columbia plateau of northwestern USA. With this, I call it a day. We will be meeting in the very next video. And in the next video, we'll be discussing on planes, uh, how are planes useful to us as well. Thank you and have a nice day.